Data from more than 70 countries shows that local feminist activists and organizations are the most important and consistent force addressing violence against women. Yet, less than 2% of donor funding goes to frontline women's organizations. What we do with the Global Media Campaign is reverse that. Our funds go to the grassroots. That's what makes us different. We really need to focus on funding grassroots activists and organizations because they are the people with first-hand experience. They are the people who are passionate. Je connais des dizaines, des centaines d'ailleurs de personnes, de féministes et d'activistes. Si nous avons le financement direct, nous pouvons faire beaucoup de choses. We remove the bondo bushes. We call them bondo bushes. And we construct schools. The whole world is talking about the importance of educating girls. But if we still have a lot of bushes where girls are initiated, do you think we will achieve education for girls? No. Wow. As from today, we have announced the $500 helps to take a religious scholar, a medical practitioner, to speak to millions of people in one radio talk show. The Bible no mention about bundle business inside the Bible. God say you know for continuity. After three years of local feminist campaigns in Tana River, Kenya, our survey showed that support for the worst type of FGM fell by 84%. In Mali, after six months of intense campaigns by local women-led organizations, nearly one in ten surveyed said they would no longer cut their daughter. Local activists are funded directly to run their own campaigns. All funding is via direct cash transfers, which we call direct action grants. Direct action grants are completely organized on WhatsApp. From calling for proposals to announcing the selected projects, sending the receipts, everything is produced on there. This allows for the campaigns to remain fully transparent, completely fluid, interactive and dynamic at all times. La confiance que GMC a placé aux gens, c'est inédit. Ils sont motivés, ils ont confiance, donc chapeau. But the biggest obstacle to ending gender-based violence is that these organizations have been largely ignored by donors who insist they don't have the mechanism to find and fund them at scale. Yet feminist activists continue. Wallace Global Fund has been working on FGM for 40 years now, and we now know what is needed. We need to drive resources at scale to frontline activists and organizations. They know what needs to be done. They have far too little funding now, and it is time to go big or go home and get them the resources they need. But as part of a radical new strategy by UNFPA, Wallace Global Fund and GMC, we've developed a feminist frontline directory. This means that for the first time, donors will have a new mechanism to find and directly fund local organizations. This feminist frontline map will not only be interactive, but it will show what works to end FGM and other forms of gender-based violence in individual communities. Sometimes it's through religious leaders. In other communities, it's survivors who take the lead. What's more, the map is interactively linked with a specially designed app that helps frontline feminist organizations find and support each other. Let's shift the power. Let's bring it down to the local organization so they can impact their own community. They are the victims. They are the people that can be able to make the change that the world want to see. UNFPA, Wallace Global Fund and GMC have so far supported over 2,000 frontline feminist campaigns to end gender-based violence. But we need to go further, faster. And as all the research shows, the quickest way to do that is to shift the power to local feminist organizations and frontline activists and fund them at scale. Join us at Lake Naivasha from November the 15th to the 17th.